Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and today in this video, I'll be telling you guys how you can remove all the bloatware applications from your Realme X3 smartphone. So this is my Realme X3 Vanilla variant. This is not the Super Zoom edition and as you guys know, it comes pre-installed with at least 20 bloatware applications which we do not need or which we do not use. So these are the junkware applications. I've actually made a separate folder for all those bloatware applications. As you guys can see, I am putting all those junkware or all those bloatware applications which we do not use or if they are already having an alternatives on the same device, why do they even need to pack in those apps? So these are the applications like Hilo, you know, UC browser, the WPS office, Facebook, Daily Hunt. I don't need these apps, especially Hilo and UC browser. These two are even banned applications by the government. So these are the applications that I've actually put inside this folder. And if I count, it is at least 20 in number. So these many applications come pre-installed, but some of them can be actually uninstalled on the device itself by just going to the app info and clicking on the uninstall. And for apps which cannot be uninstalled, that is where this video comes into the picture. So in order to uninstall these apps, which cannot be uninstalled on the phone itself, I have bought you guys this trick. As you guys can see, if I just long press on it and go to app info, this uninstall option is not present at all. So what should we do in this scenario? So for that, what we have to actually do is use the ADB method to uninstall. So in order to do that, just go to the settings and here just go to about phone and there is the baseband version and just click on the build number for seven times and when you click on the build number for seven times you will enable the developer options go to additional settings and there is the developer options just click on the developer options and just scroll down and you will find an option called usb debugging so this is a very important option guys just turn this usb debugging option to on just click it on and it will actually give this prompt, just click on OK. Now, what we have to do is again, go to the Google Play Store. And in the Google Play Store, just search for an app called Package Name. So this is very important to just know what is the package name for us to just enter the package name while uninstalling the application using the ADB method. So just install this package name. Just don't worry about the next steps that is to be followed in this video. Just, just follow the steps that I'm telling and you will be good to go. Now that we have installed this application, just open the app package name. It has this eye icon. So just open the app and as you guys can see, these are the different package name for every single application that is present on your phone, both the system apps and the third party installed apps. Now, what we have to do is just connect your smartphone to the computer and set to transfer files. Now, what actually shows up is USB debugging mode will be connected on your computer. And this method works on both the Windows PC, Linux PC, and also the Mac computers as well. Just connect your phone to the computer using the USB cable that is provided. And once you have connected, the USB debugging prompt will show up and USB debugging method is enabled on your device. And the notification tray somewhat shows like this and it shows like USB debugging is enabled. Now let's just jump over to the computer and in the computer just enter minimal ADP and fast boot in the Google search. And this link will be directly provided in the description. This is a very simple software that you have to actually install on your computer in order to activate the ADB mode and the fast boot mode for the Android devices to just get the access of system level files to uninstall them. It is a very simple application that you need to install on your Windows computer or any other computer that you use. Just click on this version and you can download. Just download the version 1.4.3. This is the XDA developers website. And once it is downloaded and installed on our computer, as you can see, the icon has been successfully placed on the desktop. Just go to the search and type ADB and just right click and run this application in the administrator mode. Just click as run as administrator and it will give this prompt and this command window will be open. 
here just type adb devices when you type adb devices you will get this prompt on your computer just click on allow and just check that always allow this computer for debugging and click on allow now your device will be successfully connected in the adb mode now on your command window you have to just type adb shell this will actually activate or start a command shell that is actually connected to your realme device and your model number will be shown over here now we have to just enter this very important command pm uninstall minus k double minus user zero package name and where can we find the package name the package name can be found on the application that we have installed on our phone that is the package name app so whichever application we need to uninstall that application's package name will be actually available here in this package name app on our smartphone so now coming back to the command window just enter pm uninstall minus k minus minus user zero and the package name of that particular application that you want to uninstall on your realme x3 smartphone so this is the first application that i want to uninstall that is the browser which has a package name com.hatapp.browser when i enter success that means that application has been successfully removed or that bloatware has been successfully de-bloated from our smartphone now just find the package name of any application that you want to uninstall now just make sure that you don't uninstall any application that you are not confident of if you feel something might go wrong or this application you are not aware of then don't uninstall those applications i'm also dropping the list of apps which are safe to uninstall in the description below just uninstall only those applications or if you already know this process you can go ahead and follow that i am actually uninstalling facebook app manager the google drive app that came pre-installed the google files app that came pre-installed the default browser which is a very shady application which i do not like that that actually came up pre-installed and even though this smartphone has the predefined or pre-default set applications as google applications like the dialer messaging contacts google chrome and every other application is already pre-installed still realme is packing their file manager also along with the google files so these are like bloatwares that's why i am doing this video to just show you guys this process so just find the package names of all those applications that you need to uninstall and just type pm uninstall minus k minus minus user zero and that package name and all the other applications will get uninstalled on your realme x3 smartphone once all the process is completed just hit exit and this command window will be exited successfully and now just go to your smartphone and reboot your smartphone as you can see this is the rebooting window for realme x3 and we will just go ahead and reboot our smartphone or restart our smartphone and just remove the cable from your computer and your process is successfully completed as you guys can see this is my realme x3 smartphone in clean avatar it is actually looking very neat and it is free from all those stupid bloatware applications which came pre-installed i just can't understand why these companies just pack in so many default applications into the smartphone helo uc browser and so many shady applications come pre-installed but thanks to our tutorials we have actually bought these kind of tutorials for both the realme and xiaomi smartphones this process was kind of tricky when compared to the miui bloatware removal application video but nevertheless i have covered every possible scenario about how to uninstall all the applications that came pre-installed or all the bloatwares from this realme x3 smartphone i have actually purposefully kept some applications such as game space app cloner and many other things because i actually need those apps like the music application the video application these are the apps that i actually use and i don't find them to be shady or i don't find them to be very bad so i have kept those apps so that's it for this video guys if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content ahead thank you for watching guys